Friday. We are continuing our theme this evening on preserving the island's language. Just last night at the Guam Community College, a premiere was held for the Fino Hadza DVD. It is part of a program at the college funded by a federal grant aimed at preserving the island's language. The Guam Community College's Goti Zenadahi e Finota Chamorro office unveiled the first four of a total of 16 DVDs that will produce about Guam's indigenous pre-contact language. Program specialist for Mina Sablon and advisory committee member and retired GCC faculty member Robert Kalahaja. Basically, the intent is to revive and bring awareness and promote the ancient language of the people of this land. We found out that it's not just simply uh, uh, reviving, but retrieving uh, a lot of our words. They were never lost. Uh, we just limited its, its use and its function. So and the DVDs is going to show a lot of that. Um, we had a full functional language uh, before contact. And it just the trend now, the passion is in the old language. A lot of people are very, a lot of local speakers are very interested, a lot of non-speakers are also very interested. So a part of what supports uh, the work that we're doing with this is we work off of also an Austronesian database that has over 700 languages currently in it. And we use that to reference our particular words. Anytime we're challenged with a particular word, we want to see, it, did it come from the other side of the world or is it from this side of the world? And that uh, helps us um, verify a lot of what we do. Matter of fact, Balahaja gives us what he calls our first Chamorro lesson, the origin of the word Chamorro. The research tells us that that was something that the uh, Europeans had dubbed on us. Um, some of the oldest known, earliest known accounts as to how that name came about was uh, when the ships would come in, the ancient ones would surround it with the sailboats, and the command was Chamu, meaning don't and ulin, meaning to steer or to guide your, your vessel, your, your sailcraft. So the, the command that was being chanted out loud as they surrounded the, the European ships for trade was Samu Ulin. So even some of the earlier French uh, visitors that came to here referred to us as Chamurin. And, uh, but Chamur is not our word. So when you use that term, we, within the context of, of everything inside the video that portrays our culture, we, we go out of our way to avoid having that word anywhere in there because it was not ours. Um, it was never our word, we, you know, so, and we don't want to rename ourselves. So uh, that's one of the things that we show up here is that we are trying to keep it uh, within that snapshot, you know, right before contact, pre-contact era. The DVD project is partially funded by a federal grant. We have a lot of work ahead of us. We have 12 more to produce. And that's what's, um, that, you know, we really want to make sure that we produce all 16 so that we can really showcase ancient, you know, the ways of our ancient uh, ancestors, our ancestors, the, you know, the people of this land and uh, see how beautiful their ways of life were because um, they, they look to the land, they look to the ocean, they look to the heavens to, to sustain their way of life. What we're doing is we're, we're doing everything from uh, like uh, uh, indigenous names for plants that's only found here. We do things in, for medicine, we do things for how we fish, methods of fishing. So we're using, we're using the, the language and the activity that would have been associated uh, during pre-contact times. So it, it, it puts everything in, into some, some context, into some perspective. Um, we're not going to talk about computers. Uh, we didn't have those at pre-contact. So the, the, the whole focus is just where would the people have, have you know, the origins of the people and, you know, before contact, we have almost 5,000 years prior to contact. Uh, we were a very, very successful uh, culture. Uh, we had evolved a lot of um, attitudes that has, you know, that has persevered to, you know, today. A lot of how I react to things was uh, not so much environmental, but just, you know, being tomorrow. There is a lot of challenges because we have uh, progressed over many years, over 400 years here on our island. And uh, we have been um, 
assimilated into the Western culture, and of course the Spanish um, language. So those are, you know, our challenge is to revive our language, which is our, um, the language that was given to us by our creator. And uh, it is a world language uh, under the Austronesian uh, language family. We want to make sure that the words used is very correct, uh, that it's not, you know, the last thing we want is to inject something into any, any part of the work that's being done that is inaccurate. Um, this, is the, this is still, this program really is still driven by the college. So that's a very sensitive thing, you know. If we, if we say we're going to do this in this time period, we can't deviate from that. We cannot accommodate, we cannot make exceptions. Uh, we're, looking, we're looking at a snapshot. And uh, so in our committee, that was our biggest task, is to make sure that the snapshot we're looking at is as authentic as possible. Ultimately, we want to bring awareness to our ancient pre-contact language and to um, encourage people to, to speak our language and to speak our language using many of our ancient words because uh, we do have a very rich language and many of them are documented. If you'd like to help with the project, according to Sablon and Balahaja, their door is always open. We actually do this uh, uh, we, we deal with other groups that are that are very passionate about preserving and and promoting the culture, so that's really Mina's uh, side of the coin. There, she's she you know she she tries to find different people that are interested in doing things that can make certain contributions. Um, there's no favoritism in this. It's just you know we're looking for people that are culturally uh, sensitive, and and are putting a lot of effort into whether it's for. Uh, commercial or, you know, for entertainment purposes, uh, that's who we're going after. Uh, we're, we solicit their help uh, to be a part of the project. It's, uh, it's, again, it goes back to our culture. So we're, we're we just, you know, if you, if you feel that you're one of us and that you're, and you have something to contribute, you know, we're very interested in having you, uh, be a, you know, be a part of this. It's, uh, it's, it takes a whole island.